Far Cry 6, the teaser trailer dropped back in July 12, 2020. And even before that, I did let you know about a leak that already showed Far Cry 6 as an upcoming Ubisoft game. Far Cry 6 was scheduled to be released on February 18, 2021, and we still haven't seen any gameplay yet. Which begs the question, where is Far Cry 6 gameplay? Normally months before the release of a brand new title, they also reveal gameplay which they haven't done with Far Cry 6 when it was originally going to be released in February. So I think on that note, we could already expect it to be delayed with Ubisoft knowing that the game is not going to be released anytime soon. They will obviously need to save up some marketing material for when the game is coming closer. But Ubisoft did send me some gameplay screenshots though that I'm already able to share. The open world of Far Cry 6 is the biggest in the series to date. Every section of the map has been split up in bios. You can expect to see beaches, a jungle and also towns with NPCs. And the city Esperanza is the home of our enemy. The screenshot right here already shows us how gigantic the map of Far Cry 6 is and that we are actually able to use horses too. Something very iconic about Far Cry is obviously the outpost and what I see in this exact outpost is that there's actually a tank it is a vehicle that you can use I guess because in the very next picture we do see that we're actually getting chased by one of those of course some of these are not really screenshots from the gameplay this one is a screenshot from a cinematic just like this one which is from the teaser trailer so let me give you some more information about the gameplay of Far Cry 6, it is quite similar to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, in a way you can also go ahead and choose a male or female character, just like you could with Eivor in Assassin's Creed, but now you can do that exact same with Danny. And like we usually expect from a Far Cry game, the game is still first person and it's an open world exploration with combat. The location that we are in is Yara, and Yara is a tropical paradise frozen in time. It's a completely made up place but the links to Cuba are there if you look at the 60s cars and the environment. Which the cars you can also drive. Yara is an island paradise but unrest takes hold as a revelation is forming. So now differently from any other Far Cry game we have seen before, in the cutscenes we will actually see our own character and the character will also have a voice. So this way you will see much more cinematic shots throughout the story. Far Cry 6, a story about Anton Castillo, which is a dictator and his father was a dictator before him who was executed right in front of him. His city is a big mess and he wants to empower the people to take back the country. His goal is to use the resources that they have within the country to survive without any outsiders coming in. Anton Castillo really does mean good but he's living in a world that is moving forwards a lot faster than him. He wants his people to believe in him but at the same time he wants to raise his son Diego. Ante Castillo wants his son Diego to grow up faster because he's not yet where he wants him to be. He wants to give him all the skills and empower him to know that he has the power over life and death. And that's of course a very difficult thing for a young man to get wrapped around. So the question for Diego here is, how do I grow up quickly and rule a small island nation? So we ourselves are Danny Yachas, which is our hero and also the main character of the game and he has his own voice. So there are four different editions, there is the full edition, the season pass, ultimate pack, the collector's edition and are available on the PlayStation 4, Xbox, PC and Stadia. If you decide to pre-order any edition of Far Cry 6, you will get yourself the Disco Locos, which is the deadly disc launcher, as well as Libertad Chorizo. The dog always carries ammunition with him and he is helping you out during fights. Then there is the Gold Edition, which includes the full game as well as the season pass that includes three DLCs and much more. The Ultimate Edition includes 
includes the full game, the season pass, which I just talked about, and also the ultimate pack, which includes the croc hunter pack, the voice pack, and the jungle expedition pack. And then last but not least, there is a Far Cry 6 collector's edition, which does include a flamethrower statue, which we can also use in the game. The collector's edition includes a Far Cry 6 Ultimate Edition, a collector's case, an art book, a set of 10 stickers, the flamethrower replica, the how to assemble, exclusive steelbook, collected game soundtrack, a chorizo keyring and an actual map of Far Cry 6. If you found this video helpful in any way, make sure to go ahead and hit the like on the video. Subscribe and ring the bell for more Far Cry 6 videos right here on the channel. I got two more videos on the screen, one for you to click on. This is me, Boy Cheese. I am out. Peace.